Okay guys, we are playing against 2000 ELO engines, so let's play E4. Okay, and knight to F3, I guess knight C6 is coming next. Okay, so let's play uh, bishop B4, this is the Roy Lopez. Okay, so he's playing the Morphe defense. Uh, I guess, okay, knight E7, I'm less familiar with this move, but anyway, let's continue. Let's play for short castle. Okay, and now we, we want to prepare basically d4. We can play it immediately if you want. Um, okay, so yeah, I, I get the idea. So knight e7 basically is a preparation to play uh, d5. But I guess we can actually take. And now it's going to have some pressure against this uh, knight. Let's continue. So let's play c3 with the preparation of playing d4. And this move I don't really find to be too useful because you can actually pin the pawn and we can try to win it later. Okay, <clears throat> so even uh, d3 in this position makes some sense. And again, he cannot really take the knight. Okay, so his idea is basically that if I'm going to take, he can take my queen and then we're going to lose this knight because this pawn will, will long, no longer we're going to be pinned. So, <clears throat> first of all, uh, we can try to put some more pressure on this, uh, sorry, on this pawn. And it cannot really take, so I think that if we are able to put more pressure, and also we are putting some pressure against f7, it's going to be very strong. So, <clears throat> basically knight d5 is stopping uh, f7, but my question, what's going to happen after uh, pawn d4? So, we can try to attack my, uh, my knight as well. Uh, we can take, mm, let's see, yeah, so I think that actually playing for d4, which is a very natural uh, square in this position, is very strong, and maybe later even f3 in order to try to put some more pressure on this pawn. Okay, also, <coughs> we can take this pawn immediately, and it cannot really take back, and we might going to have some discoveries if uh, black is not careful. Yeah, I really like the position. Hmm. So the downside, if you're going to push d4, you can try to push, for example, h6. And now if I'm going to take, you can actually uh, take my queen and then take my knight. So it's not, I'm not really comfortable with uh, allowing this. So if I'm honest, even though it's really tempting to try to uh, make some more pressure on this position, I think we just can, uh, we can just try to win this pawn might be even uh, stronger okay so bishop g4 very very nice move i must admit of course uh, f3 is not really working because uh, it's got some double attack um, so <clears throat> we need to find of course a move i guess queen c2 makes sense um, or maybe even queen d2 but queen d2 is going to block the bishop or the second knight from uh, entering the position yeah, so I don't really like that. Yeah, so let's play queen c2. We, not, we just need to make sure that we are not blocking this bishop too much. Okay, so now <clears throat> he's offering us a queen exchange. And as you see, we're going to play very, very aggressive, guys. We're going to play for uh, d4. And funny as it seems, we can actually go for uh, bishop g5, but he can block, so I'm not really convinced that it's good for us. So, yeah, I think that uh, playing for d4 is very, very strong. Now, as you see, we don't have a discoveries because the bishop is blocking, but after um, knight g5, his bishop is going to be pinned to, to my rook. So I guess bishop g5 is very, very strong. Uh, also notice this, this uh, sorry, knight to g5, not bishop g5. And also notice that uh, this bishop is defending the knight, so it's not like uh, he can do whatever he wants. Okay, so now actually we can uh, immediately just take, and of course he cannot take with the queen. And yeah, it seems like we're going to win the queen because taking with the rook will become with the check with a double attack on the queen. Uh, yeah, so I must sacrifice his queen. Okay, so <laughs> he's trying to block, but of course we're just going to take the queen. And we're going to, going to crush this game completely. As you see, he cannot really even castle because this bishop is doing a massive amount of pressure. Uh, yeah, we played it uh, really, really good. <clears throat> Okay, so if I can give you a tip, guys, if you are, uh, if you have more material and if you have, um, of course, more pieces against your opponent, especially when he doesn't really have any advance or counterplay, you want to try to 
uh, to exchange as much species as possible. Now, of course, it's not always. Sometimes you don't want to, uh, for example, uh, give up a very good piece for, uh, for, for example, for a, a, a passive one. But because your art material uh, going to going to play with some exchanges are just going to benefit you because you're going to be simplify the position over and over until your opponent doesn't really have any counterplay and you're just going to win this game. So as you understand, we're going to put a lot of pressure and just exchange everything. So let's take, as you see, of course, this diagonal is not really dangerous. And yeah, basically we're trying to play for the win. We can even uh, uh, play this check and uh, put the bishop on a better uh, scope uh, if we want. Yeah, I actually like this idea. Just improving the position of the bishop. And as you see, our position is uh, very, very good. We can also try to play for a checkmate. Now, of course, uh, he's, got, he's got some uh, traps of its own, so it's not like the game is over. Uh, but we are not going to fall for that, of course. As you see, the rook is about to defend everything. Okay, and of course, knight to f3 with the tempo on the bishop. Also, add another defender to, uh, to e1. <clears throat> okay, so now um, I think that we can actually try to exchange rooks. Of course, it's defended by the, by the knight. And I guess he will try to play with the tempo. Make, make sense, very nice move. But of course, we are defending everything. We can also play. Um, Mm, actually, a nice move. Mm. Um, yeah, we don't want to blunder, of course. Mm. It's, it's got some counterplay if I'm not careful, but I think we are actually fine. Of course, we cannot really take. Okay, so this, this is just a way too slow, of course. He is probably trying to play for uh, h4, but as you see, it's not going to... To really happen, and now this knight is going to defend e1. Okay, so even though you can win a piece, and not a piece, sorry, a pawn, it doesn't really, it's not enough uh, for, a, for a win. Okay, so anyway, let's keep uh, improving, guys. We want to play for a checkmate, of course. Um, okay, so first of all, let's create maybe, um, let's see, of course, it's not over yet. We need to be precise about it. We need to be precise. Okay, so let's play <clears throat> knight to e5. Of course, if he takes, I can take the rook. Okay, and basically, again, we just need to make sure that we are not blundering the, uh, the back rank or something. So let's just create a small loft for the king, just in case. And yeah, now we're going to play for the win. Uh, of course, he's got uh, two against one, so he made up uh, some uh, some nice pressure against my position, but it's still, uh, of course, not enough. So yeah, we are going to play quite aggressive. We just not don't really want to blunder the queen, of course. Okay, so now we're going to put more and more pressure. Okay, and as you see, we can try to use this scope in order to play for a win. But he got this check, so as you see, it's still not clear uh, how we're going to do it. But for now, I guess, let's improve the pressure that we got on this position. Okay, and as you see, this check is not really danger anymore. Okay. <clears throat> and yeah, let's see. Okay, so I guess let's improve the position of the bishop. Trying to play for a checkmate, of course. Okay, which is trying to stop. Um, funny, but we don't really have a lot of space after all. But okay, let's let's just uh, grab some more pawns. Of course, we just need to make sure that we are not uh, blundering anything. Okay, so let's take another pawn. Okay. <clears throat> So of course he's got the first pawn, so it's not it's not really over. We need to make sure that we are playing this uh, correctly. But for now, <clears throat> let's keep improving, guys. And we are trying to basically play play for the mate. Okay, nice move, of course. I must admit. 
So yeah, it's not like it's going to give up uh, immediately because it's still a very strong engine. And yeah, let's try to probably stop any... And yeah, the XO is playing quite good, I must admit. He's playing quite good. Okay, let's play check. And yeah, let's just improve the position of the bishop. I don't really think that we have a choice. Okay, <clears throat> and we are trying to play for a mate. Yeah, I think that we don't really have a choice. We must sacrifice uh, a bishop for uh, for a very strong pawn. So I, I do need to keep this bishop on this uh, diagonal just in case that is we try to queen. Okay, and now we got a very strong attack. Which is stopped. Yeah, he's playing quite well, I must admit. It's not an easy position, guys. It's easy, but uh, he's, he's strugg yeah, I'm struggling a bit, I must admit. Okay, so check. Okay. <clears throat> and... yeah. Mm. Okay, I guess let's just create a first pawn. I don't really see anything else. We, we are going to probably sack, uh, sack a piece. We don't really have a choice. But, yeah, we do need to make a counterplay. Okay, and maybe we can even... No, we cannot really take because he's going to get a queen. So let's keep pushing. Okay, so as you see now, the rook is trying to stop the promotion, so actually we can take. We are doing quite good. And yeah, I completely misplayed this by some reason. I'm not really sure why, maybe because it's still morning, but who knows. Um, yeah, let's keep improving. Okay, now of course we take. Yeah, I have no idea why I misplayed it so bad, but of course we are not going to uh, lose the advantage. <clears throat> okay, and yeah, basically let's let's create a new queen. Yeah, basically this is my uh, second game this day, so I guess I'm uh, not in my best shape. But okay, let's take. Let's just simplify, of course. And I actually want to check with the engine um, where, I, where I went wrong, because I did some uh, mistakes, obviously. Okay, check. D4, I guess. Okay, <clears throat> now let's try to put some more pressure. Okay, and let's try to create a fast pawn. Try to play for a new queen. Okay, and of course this is not a draw, but uh, <clears throat> now we can try to cut him off completely and play for a win. So let's try to cut off his king. As you see, he doesn't really have a lot of space. But he still got some room. Okay, so queen f6, as you see, he still got some legal moves. But uh, we don't really want to give him too much space. But again, we don't really want to play for a draw either. So here, for example, bishop d3, and yeah, basically he's got um, queen f8. Okay, and now bishop c4, he can go back. Hmm. What am I missing? So strange. Okay, so check. Okay, <clears throat> and now we can try to play for a checkmate. No. Okay, so let's let's just make a new queen, guys. Yeah, <clears throat> sorry for taking too long. I don't know what happened, but yeah, let's see the analyze of the game real quick.
Okay, so we played it with the eighty-four percent, and uh, we played it like uh, nine nineteen hundred fifty. So it was okay, but let's see if we had any mistakes. Of course. Okay, so in this position, d four immediately is much much better. Uh, rookie one is actually a miss. Let's see why. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, so knight g5, an excellent uh, attack. As you see, we got also got some pressure against this f7 weakness, and also against and also against d4. We took, which was the best option. And now the engine actually wants to take, which is plus seven. Let's see why. So we take. Yeah, but it can actually take with the knight. And then I guess it's a checkmate, probably. Yeah, it's a checkmate. Mm. Funny, so it was actually a free bishop after all. I didn't miscalculate it completely. So as you see, you cannot really take the take the knight or move away because this is actually a double check and every square is blocked. So insane checkmate that I just missed. So let's see if queen takes. This is excellent. Okay, what else do we got, guys? So d4 was good. Uh, knight g5 was was excellent. We took the bishop, then we are we won the queen. We exchanged some more pieces. Now let's shuffle real quick. Let's see what was my mistake. And of course, this is against. It's still plus six, plus five for uh, white. But I want to check. Okay, so basically the moves were almost perfectly fine. We still have, uh, of course, major advantage, but you see, it was getting uh, quite dangerous because he can try to advance, of course, the pawn. So we kept the bishop on this diagonal, but it seems like uh, <coughs> the my moves were uh, perfectly fine, most of them at least. And yeah, here I just took forever. I have no idea why, but. Finally, I just uh, decided to make a new queen and go for an easy checkmate. Yeah, so that was the game. Hope you enjoy and see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.